Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Captain Toad on Nintendo Switch. We are continuing on with our 100% walkthrough of the game. It's gonna be a good one. We're collecting all the gems, all the power stars, all the little 8-bit toads, and of course doing all the bonus requirements as well. I want to say thanks to each and every one of you guys who have been supporting the series thus far. You guys are absolutely amazing. We are doing a giveaway of Captain Toad, so make sure that you guys hit that like button, share the video, and let us know what your favorite part of every single one of these episodes is in the comments below. More details on that a little bit later. But today's episode is all about finishing episode one. But Abdallah, this is part two. Yeah, I know, it's a little convoluted with how it works, but the game is broken up into three episodes. Call them chapters if you must. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna jump into that. So let's do it. Uh, there's gonna be uh, the King of Pyropuff Peak. We're going to spend our gems for it. So uh, let's do some shout outs to all the people that are here early, right? We got Poppin' Poplio, Martin Jr., the Jay McLean, Miranda Fry. Hey, what's happening? Unknown, Andrew, Daniel, uh, Mod Squad's here. Uh, we got Masaya, Walker, Legend, Do Everything, Fear Nothing, Elijah, Dolphin, Joshua, Richard, Brendan, Fluffy, Christina's in the house, everyone's here, thank you for coming. Yeah, today's gonna be a great day, we're gonna live stream this entire game, we're gonna be done with it, it's gonna be awesome. Eight, nine parts, it's gonna be a fun time, so let's do this, uh, the King of Pyropuff Peak, all of you guys that are here, waving at you guys. So who's the King of Pyropuff Peak, do you guys remember this dragon's name? He may or may not have been in a Paper Mario game, just saying. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, so here we go. Now let's take a look. Oh, ooh, man. All right, so this in this level, we have to watch out for the King of Pyro Puff Peak, and uh, we have to go. So do you guys remember this dragon's name? I don't think anyone does yet. Isn't it like, yeah, there we go. Mark got it. Dragadon. All right, so Dragadon's gonna be here. What we need to do is make sure we don't get hit, and at the same time, we have to collect 45 coins. So, let's do this. This is gonna be our first boss battle level. Okay, easy be, easy breezy. All right, so I'm just, oh wow. Okay, so there's a little bit of a step there. So I'm gonna go up the stairs here, collect this, drop down, and then hide behind here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So 45 coins, not really sure how I'm gonna get those, but we will indeed figure it out. So let's juke this guy up. And I can't use the freeze to freeze him, so that's pretty good. Uh, I don't, I can, yeah, I don't wanna drop down. Okay, but I can, I can come over here. Whoa, yeah, we gotta collect all these coins. If we're gonna collect 45, you bet. You bet that we're gonna get this. Pretty cool, pretty cool, the graphics look great. I love it, the graphics transferring from the Wii U version, a little bit uh, more upscaled. Oh gosh. Okay, so we got this. I need to climb up here. Gladly take that, take all the coins. Let's go, Captain Todd. But Abdallah, his name's Captain Toad. I know, I know, trust me. You're a little late to the party, kiddo. Oh, beautiful, that's the three, that's the three of them, we're done. Okay, wow, now the lava's coming up. All right, great. That's 44 coins. Hold on, we gotta get 45 coins. All right, well we got 47, so it's not too bad. I think we're set, we just have to beat the level now. All right, so now there's gonna be a little bit of platforming, a little bit of watch out for the fire breath, watch out for the fire um, that drops from the ceiling. I mean, come on now. How am I gonna get past that? That's a little broken, man, come on. Like, the timing's terrible. Maybe I gotta juke this guy out, here we go. All right, so now we go under. Collecting 45 coins, dude? Come on, we got like 100 coins. Come on, Toad, climb faster, that backpack's weighing you down, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I have to hold upwards. Oh, dude, come on, get it. No, no. That's it. And then we like ride on top of his head, right? Yeah, there we go. So now we're on top of this boy. And we can just spin around in a circle like this. Yeah. All right, pretty great. Okay. 
Did we do a one run and done? I don't know. Let's take a look. I don't know if they changed anything from the Wii U version, but uh, it could be collecting more coins. I don't know. Oh, hey, check that out. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a one run and done. I love those. I love those so much. All right, so uh, now we're going to jump back into pa the King of Pyropuff Peak, Dragadon, and we're going to find our little baby boy, 8-bit eight pi Pixel Toad. We're going to find him. And I have, I can't hear your impressions. I need to hear your impressions through the internet. I need you guys to make that sound. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so we gotta find Pixel Toad. Keep your eyes peeled, okay? You guys need to, you guys need to find him along with me. All right, so here we go. We're gonna speed run this. That big Captain Toad speed run. All right, any guys see him yet? Keep an eye out, keep an eye out. Ready for adventure. Ready. Oh, there's there's my adventure. Got him. It's easy. Me, me. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I see Aaron Ke Kelly with the super chat. Awesome. Uh, that says, hi, today I'm, uh, I'm going to go see Incredibles 2 on my birthday. I'm gonna go get this game and play along with Aaron Kelly. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, hashtag Aaron in the comments. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't pop up yet, but um, I'll, I'll have to refresh that. Weird, weird. But yeah, thank you, thank you. Enjoy The Incredibles too. It's a wonderful movie. Especially, I think you have to see the first one. You have to see the first one at least again. You know what I mean? So anyway, the hunt for the Great Bird's Lair. Uh, and uh, I guess I have to click on A to see this, right? Okay, so we're gonna watch a little bit of a cutscene. We got Captain Todd over here. The graphics look spectacular, by the way. You don't have to throw a tantrum, dude. It's gonna be okay. By the end of the day, you're gonna get her. Don't be a little worry, worry wart. All right, so here we go, Piranha Creeper Cove. Okay, so in this level, we are going to do it 100%, uh, collecting 70 coins and then finding our baby boy. So hopefully that'll be good. <laughs> I saw someone type that. Okay, so 70 coins, eh? All right, well, right off the bat, I see this. I don't think I could get it yet. Uh, there's a little bit of water. Uh, maybe there's gonna be some things in the water. Yeah, coins in the water. That's right. So, Captain Toad's going for a swim. Captain Co Toad can absolutely breathe underwater. He's awesome like that. You guys thought that just because he, he can't jump that he's gonna be hindered from just doing everyday activities such as breathing underwater. But, but I assure you, oh my goodness gracious. All right, you, you just... All right, here we go. I need to go past this guy. Swim, 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 swim. Whoa, that goes a little bit faster than Captain Toad's run speed. Go! Don't get bit. I'm gonna hold him right here. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so moving on. We gotta collect all these coins, guys. And I love how the water affects the coloration of them. So that's kind of cool. All right, here we go. Ready for adventure. Uh, don't worry. We'll get those three coins. I see them. Holy moly! What the? Oh my God! What is this? What am I doing with this thing? I don't even remember what these things are. Well, oh gosh, that's um, okay. That's one coin, I beat up him. Okay, so then my other question is, if I'm gonna collect all 70 coins, does that mean I have to do a flawless run and destroy every single one of these dudes? Well, there's 35. And there's a little crab on the ground. I don't know if I can get that little baby crab. And or, I don't know how to get- Oh, I may have to spin around in a circle like Toad usually does. 43 coins? Excuse me. No, you're not.
59. Oh, 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 I can get this guy by landing on him, right? Okay, check this out. There's an additional three coins. Okay, so now we gotta somehow make our way around. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay. I am going to somehow go and get this diamond. That's a little weird, we're gonna go inside here. Okay, that's our first diamond. Where in the world is our third diamond? Are you kidding me? And where's our eight coins? Huh, ready for adventure. Hey, what's up guys? What's happening? I'm actually like leaning over to the comments to see if you guys know something I don't. Is it is it in here? What is it underneath here? Okay, okay, there's something under here. Okay, so there's two coins somewhere. That means I had to have KO'd another piranha plant, I think. Oh, and there's something right there too. Okay, let's let's climb up there and maybe there's gonna be two coins in that. That's probably the diamond. That's the diamond. Where am I getting two coins from? I had to have KO'd one more of these dudes. Or maybe I'm just missing something. How am I gonna get the piranha plant in the water though? Maybe there's invisible coins somewhere? I don't know. Let's look. Let's look around a little bit more. Seventy coins though. Maybe I was supposed to get that little crab for a couple coins. The crab went away though. I don't think I could get this guy. He doesn't really come out. And I can't spin around in a circle when I'm underground or underwater. And I went there. Where's two coins? Shaking the trees? Uh, shaking the trees doesn't do anything. I'm like clicking on the trees. Whoa, hold on, what? No. That does that. Maybe I just gotta go up. Oh, there we go. What? How do I get up there? Oh man, what a tricky Captain Toad game. To think I was like almost at a part where um, where I was stuck. You know, I didn't actually just go up into this area yet, so I guess it's good that we were just kind of clicking around. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have found every single coin. We found 80, and we got all three of these, and that's a one run and done. It took us a little bit, but. That's what Captain Toad is. It's a little bit of a puzzly game. You gotta do a little bit of exploration. You gotta turn on your light, you gotta get it. So not only did we collect 70 coins, but we got 80 coins. Booyah. All right, let's find our baby boy. You guys ready to, I wanna hear it. I wanna hear your little Pixel Toad impressions from, this, from the screen, I wanna hear it. Me, man. <laughs> I fell on his face. All right, let's go find this guy. All right. Toad, your baby. All right, let's look. Let's take a look around first, and see if we can kind of uh, see him in and around this area. Can you guys find him yet? Oh, what the? Got you. Tiny baby squeaky voice. Yeah, it's very, very cute. Yup. Nice. <laughs> you guys are all like typing. Typing uh, like the little sound effects of that. All right, so hey, we're doing pretty well so far for 14 minutes in. That's pretty decent. All right, let's go. Uh, Briny Bowl Swimming Hole. All right, this one's gonna be interesting. Briny Bowl Swimming Hole. We gotta find the golden mushroom in this level. And at the same time, we gotta beat it by, I guess not getting hit or anything like that. So we start under underwater. I remember this one in the Japanese version, if you guys remember this one along with me. Uh, I had a very hard time with this level in uh, in the Japanese version. And for those of you guys unacquainted, you guys can jump into a YouTube search, type in Captain Toad Abdallah, and you can see my 63 episode Let's Play. <laughs> that 
was a fun one. That was that was absolutely a fun one. So there's there's gonna be a golden mushroom somewhere. I truly don't know where it is, but we're gonna find it. I'm gonna do everything underwater first. That's clearly not it. Woohoo! All right, the surface. Okay, so we got these baby boys here. Golden mushroom. Gotta find ya. Gotta find ya. Here we go. Maybe this is, um, no, it's not turnips. Okay, so dropping down, I can hit a switch, and then maybe the switch brings us upwards? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're in this. I love the music, too. Okay, so these guys, maybe they're going to break these things for me. I don't know. Oh, oh, broke me instead! Hey, now! The heck, dude? It's cheap shot. Break this one. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Help me. Wow, they're homing in on me. I want this one to turn around and hit this open. Come on, man. Okay, great. That was all for nothing. Alright, get me out of here. I'm a baby Canopio, man. Golden mushroom? Excuse me? Oh, dude, where's the second thing, too? Oh, the second one's underneath there. I could just climb up there and get it. Okay, that's really not a big deal. The golden mushroom's under here, right? Something. There's a third diamond. We need a one run and done to this level, man. That's the end! Where is it? I knew I was stuck in this in the Japanese version three years ago! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, so let's look. Let's look. We haven't messed around with the yellow pipe yet, so let's do that. We went to the red pipe, went to the blue... No, we didn't actually go into the... Dude, you wish the golden mushroom was in the yellow pipe. Is it in the coconut trees? Where are you? Oh, man. Um, yes, 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 yes. Red pipe? I mean, we didn't go in the red pipe, did we? Maybe we did. What? Captain Toad, why you gotta be such a hard game? Are you kidding me right now? What in the world? Uh, how do I, no, I'm gonna go in the blue pipe. Dude, no way, man. Oh, that's so funny to me. That is truly funny to me. Uh, let's see, anyone in the comments know where that gold one is? This one's, what level is this called? Yeah, this one's Briny Bowl, right? We gotta find the golden one. Gotta be underwater somewhere, dudes. This is like the developer is just really trolling us right now. It's totally not under here. It's not under the stairs. <laughs> oh my gosh! Alright, here we go. Um... Excuse me, excuse me, hello? What the heck? No, there was not an invisible thing there. Come on, that's cheap. Right here, that's where, it, oh my gosh, I'm done. I'm done, I'm so done. You don't do that to me. But apparently the game does do that to you. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. An invisible, okay, you had just just be in the right place at the right time.
Don't do that to me, game. Find the hidden gold mushroom. It was invisible from plain, out of plain sight. How are you gonna do that? All right, whatever. Abdallah, the game's three years old. You should know this stuff by now. Oh, trust me, I know. All right, here we go. We're gonna go find Baby Boy. That was, um... <laughs> Just Too Mellow says, uh, yeah, that would be done to me. Absolutely. But hey, you know what? It's Captain Toad. You gotta find a, a hiding spot. This game can't be just for babies, like uh, many of you guys think. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, let's look around and let's see what we can find about uh, our baby boy, Pixel Toad. Meow, meow. All right, let's go up top. Let's get a better vantage point. I saw something fly over here. Oh, did you guys see that too? Not me! Okay, oh my gosh. Stop. Oof! Yo, Captain Todd, man, get these bricks! BB Master, what's going on? Thanks for coming. Hit the bricks, dude! Yes! Yes, that's where exactly I wanted to go. I don't see this baby boy anywhere. You guys see him? <sighs> Maybe he's... Uh, Captain, he's gotta be hiding in these bricks or something. So I like that. Oh, smush face! Dang! All right, whatever. You under here? Oh, there you are, baby boy. I see you. I see you. Oh my gosh. For starters, I thought that Pixel Toad was hiding like under the bricks. I'm like, all right, dude. If I was a developer, I would put him under the bricks because you're not gonna stick around and you're not like make sure that all the bricks are broken by those stupid things. Yeah. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's that. So let's go play Coins Galore. You guys get to choose. This is our interactive part of the live stream where you guys get to choose which way we go in Coins Galore. Do we spawn another Captain Toad? Do we spawn another Captain Toad and then just instantly they're just gone by the end of this one? Or do we try the hammer level, huh? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know. You guys get to choose. Hammer or cherries? Let me know in the chat. What do you guys think? Hammer, cherry, hammer, cherry. Oh my gosh, Toad can't make up his mind. Uh -oh. All right, a lot of you guys say hammer. Or pickaxe. Because it's blunt. Give me this! Boom, boom, that was kind of lame. Oh, hey, a gold one. Well, that was cool. You got two lives. Or three. What, they just round up and give it to you? It's not like Kirby, uh, what's the latest Kirby game that came out on Nintendo Switch? Where you have like 500 lives by the end of it. <laughs> we got nine lives, so the game's not really being too super generous. Anyway, so we've been beating all these levels 100% of the time. Thank you so much. Uh, let's jump into Turnip Cannon Jungle and see what we can find out. I'm excited. Turnip Cannon Jungle. Let's do this. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so uh, if you want to clear the course, uh, only using one shot of the turnip. Interesting. Okay, I can, I can do that. I can absolutely do that. But I need to find all the diamonds first. And I don't know if I or how to get them. Like, how are you gonna get this one? Unless I, dude, I have no, oh, I gotta shoot it with a turnip. All right, no worries. We'll get our diamonds in this first run, and then I will clear it by shooting one turnip. Sound like a plan? Deal. Okay, so let's look around. Captain Toad, Captain Old Toad. Ooh, we gotta go underneath here. Are we gonna find Blue Toad and the gang? The Toad Brigade? No, we're not. I'm just gonna pick up this dude. Come here. All right, so I'm gonna take that one. Why are there turnips and coins? I, I don't need to collect coins in this level. I'm not going for any kind of high score. I could care less about that. But this is like gravity. 
Unless Toad has some sort of anti-gravity sticky shoes. Like, what do you guys think? But then if he's throwing a turn up, I'm not even going to think about it. <laughs> how does that work? Go ahead. I dare you to explain in the comments how that works. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Okay, that was interesting. Here we go. So now, forget motion controls for this. No, no. Don't program motion controls here. No, don't do it. All right, here we go. We're going to launch a turn up. A oh, boom. That's number one. Okay, we're going to also get these. Like I need more coins. I'm going to break you. I'm going to break you babies. So, how many of you guys know how to beat this level by only firing one turn up? Let me know in the chat. Do you guys know how to do it? Have you guys figured it out? I think you have. So, where are the rest of my things? Oh, there we go. Got it. Alright, so we're outie. See you. Goodbye. Boom, you got it. Person in the comments says, just break the single block. And that's exactly what we're going to do on this rerun of the level. So we got our power star. We got our three diamonds. And now we're going to jump back in. We're going to clear the course using only one shot. Uh, and then we'll find baby Canopio. You guys cool with that? I'm cool with that. I'm ready for adventure, man. I've been ready for adventure. All right, check this out. Oof. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fire one turn up. And that one turn up. Make it count. Make it count. Here we go. Out of the way. A boom. That was it. Exit turn up by pressing B. And then now. We must. Holy moly, I got bit. Invincibility frames. <laughs> I guess. It didn't say beat it without getting hit. But we got baby red toad. No, no like. Captain Todd turns into Captain Road, somehow. All right, so that worked out. Yes, you can beat it, of course, without taking any damage if you're a little bit faster on that. So I implore you guys, give it a shot. The end justifies the means. It doesn't matter as long as we cleared the bonus thing. So here we go. Turn up Cannon Jungle. We are going to find the Pixel Toad. First one to find him wins. Go. All right, I think the best way of finding this guy is just be going to be clearing everything out. Just like destroy everything on screen. You know what I mean? Let's get these guys out of here. We're going to launch one at you. We're going to launch one at you guys. Just... What? Are you kidding me? Is that it? Hold on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Good hiding spot, son. All right, all right, we're continuing on. What a cute game. Onward, Captain Toad. Okay, so moving on to level 14 out of 18 in episode one. We're almost there. We're at the half an hour mark, so thanks. Raise your hand in the comments if you've been here since the very beginning. I want to see it. Show of hands. So here we go. Pop-up Prairie Town. Ooh, Pop-up Prairie Town. Let's go. Wah, <laughs> wah. Okay, so, oh, all right. I remember these guys. Uh, with this one, I need to collect a one-up mushroom somewhere. No clue where it is, but we will find it. Uh, maybe Blo Bloat has it. I see two gems so far. Uh, I don't see the third gem. Maybe one of these three guys will have it in their uh, possession. I don't think I want to touch this cactus. So uh, let's look around with Captain Todd, and let's go upwards. You guys want some of me? Come here. You think you can get me? Come here! Oof! Okay. So that was really risky. You think you can get me? Oh my gosh, help me! Oh, dude. Okay, so now what happened? Oh! I guess that was good that we were running away from him. <laughs> I don't want to get owned, to be honest. I already took one hit. Okay, well, uh, now, um, see about that. I just gotta be Little Road. I gotta be Little Road and climb up here. But as you guys can see, we did have the ability to uh, knock him out with our backpack, which was good. So just in case you wanna taunt some shy guys, you can knock him out with your backpack. I didn't realize that there was gonna be turnips over there, so hindsight's always 2020. All right, let's drop down here. We got our first thing, but you know, it was a good thing. It was actually a good thing that we were taunting them. 
Okay, so now... Yeah, I get big! And somehow my mushroom head changes colors. Cool. Double cool. What's this one? Triple cool? That is relatively triple cool. Alright, uh, ooh, this guy is just on the lookout. Well, I want to take his money. At the same time, I want to take this diamond. And I do want to say hi to our friend, uh, Blode. Uh, I think that, I think Blode has our mushroom that we have to get. But, I already pulled all the switches, so I don't honestly see a way of getting to Blode. Unless... Yeah, okay, here we go. Go, 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 go! Yeah, got him! That actually takes a lot of timing to do. You may think that spinning... Oh, okay, never mind, what is this? You may think that spinning around a circle takes zero skill. <laughs> but no. Starting the spin and then spacing your way over. How am I gonna get blowed? Yo, Blode, yeah, blah, 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 man. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego Blode? I don't know. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to try the level again and then go get him. Because I don't see a way of. Oh, okay, I gotta go. Oh, look, 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 okay. Yo, Blode! Blode Arena's got my one up over there. Okay. You guys want some? Oh, yes! Got him! Sweet, sweet, sweet. That was great. Oh, come on. I'm gonna throw out the cactus. Yeah, I may have to try it again in a different way. So that I don't bring that one uh, piece upwards all the way. So, yeah, we'll give that a shot. So, no one run and done. It's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, collected the one-up mushroom. Blode's got it. He's got to have it. So let's jump back in. Let's be a little bit more careful and picky choosy about which levers we pull up. And then hopefully we can find it. Komajiro says press Y to turn off his light. Oh, you're right. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you don't want to uh, waste his uh, electricity or his battery pack. You guys want some of this? Oh, crud. Go, got him! Go, got him! Here we go. Now we're gonna... Okay, that was a little rough. Oh! See? Again, ladies and gentlemen, it's really rough to do that. Like, the timing of that spin. It takes, like, X amount of spins in order to get him. Alright, so the question is, how does one get over there without... Without doing this? Are you kidding me? I'm truly stumped right now. Let's see. We're going to figure it out. We always do. I... I don't know. How do I move this down? That's the only way, is bringing this thing downwards. Oh, that's so weird. I, I probably messed that one up. Wow. Okay, so let's look around. What do you guys think? Um, oof. Huh. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, hey, dude. Boldman's here. Alright, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna exit out and we're gonna try again. Hey, Boldman. You guys want a Boldman break? You guys cool with seeing some Boldman? Hi, boy! Hi, boy! How many of you guys know who Boldman is? Yeah, they can hear you, dude! Yeah! Oh, give me a Boldman. Oof. Alright, this is Fizmo. 
This is Gizmo. Gizmo says he loves Captain Toad. Not as much as Rocco does. Rocco loves Captain Toad with a side of Sriracha mayonnaise. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna have to do this some other way. I, I'm truly at a loss as to how I'm gonna do this one. So we're gonna figure it out. Hey, Gizmo. Everyone say hello to Gizmo. Gizmo's here. He's Oh, dude, come on! This guy just bit me? Come on, that's cheap. Dude, we're not about to do that. Let's try again. Hey Gizmo, hi. Everyone's saying hi to you in the comments, buddy. How old is Gizmo? How many guys know how old Gizmo is? Don't touch me, guys. Don't touch me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, there's a cat on my desk now. Great. I did not want that to happen. Look at how sad they are when they lose me. But I'm right here. Hi. Oh gosh! Help me! Okay, 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 okay. There's a cat on my desk. How old is Gizmo? Gizmo is 17. Yeah, he's 17 and a half. He's almost, uh... Oof. Alright, yeah. Maybe I should be a little bit better at sneaking around. Oof, I'm done! I'm done! Help me! Help! Spin, 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 spin! Oh, too bad! See, spinning's hard. Alright, let's get past these guys. I'm gonna beat this level. Come on, Captain Todd. I can't be at a... Oh, okay. Boom, boom! What?! The invincibility... or the frames? There's only like, maybe 10 frames of uh, Hurt Box whenever you're spinning around as Captain Toddward. Boom, like that, and then you get hit. Wow, I got him on the last of the frames. That's pretty cool. Boom, that's a lot better now. See, I gotta get used to attacking with Captain Toddward. Okay, I got this now, watch. We're gonna hit this. We're gonna drop down. Okay. I'm gonna go in here. I'm not gonna hit the switch yet. I'm gonna go in here and then collect it. Are you kidding me? That's it? That's so silly. That is truly silly. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. How silly was that? I mean, the blue switch was very alluring, so in my defense, like, I want to press that switch. <laughs> like a Nintendo switch. Alright, I guess I'm falling over here. Uh, the only way... No, I, I pressed down. That's weird. Alright, so that's how you get the one-up, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you guys playing along with, I hope you guys are. And now, we must run! We could have done a one run and done on this level. We could have. Oh, absolutely, we could have. Very simple. It took a little bit of thinking. Just a little bit. Just a smidge. Okay, so here we go. Pop up Prairie Town done. Now we need to find our baby boy. First one to find him wins. Go. Hey, man. Okay, hello, hello. Okay, I think I have a, an inkling where he could be. Where could he be? Where could he be? Where could he be? Is that where, is that truly where he is? I saw this poster, and I thought there would be a baby boy hiding under him. Ugh, got it. You got Pixel Toad. Ta-da, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, easy, right? No, that was a misclick. Little boy, we already found you. Don't jump back into there. We already found you, dude. Ready for adventure. All right, come on, thank you. Thank you, Pixel Todd. Okay, Pixel Todd, Pixel Todd. Me, me. Okay, drop road dash. So this is like when you have a, a red toad, you just drop them and then you run away. See, that's exactly what we're doing here. We're dropping road. Remember I, on the previous episode, I asked you where the road was? <laughs> All you guys said red toad. Oh, so good. I got every single one of you. Don't even, don't even deny it. All right, so here we go. Drop road dash. We're not even going to hit any of these para buds. 
So that's really what the uh, the answer to this bonus objective is. So beating this without destroying a single one of the para bitty bugs. So we need to do the pacifist run. Oh, check this out! Yeah, run! Oh, this is like Super Mario 3D World. Heck yeah! Oh, I love that. Oh man, that's so much fun. Hey, there's a diamond there. Hey, I forgot I'm actually collecting these things. Oof! Wow, I thought I got hit. Yow, that was frame perfect, man. I'm not gonna hit them. What is this? Okay. Do the wave, do the wave, do the wave! Go, 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 go! Ready for adventure! Oh my gosh! I just... I just... I couldn't see. I was in a wrong angle. I've slipped the heck off. Yes, I did. That was a thing. I slipped right on off. And trust me, it was not during the super fast running portion either. I just slipped the heck off. Well, you know what? It happens to the best Captain Toads out there. Here we go! <laughs> Get that. That was kind of lame. I don't know how I did this one. Oh no! That's a bad idea. Instant regret. It's the regret. Just take the hit. Oh, it's gone. See you. Goodbye. <laughs> At least I'm having fun with it. All right. So instant regret. I didn't realize that these donut blocks actually do come back. I wasn't paying attention to that. So, uh... hey, Abdallah, just calm down. It's Captain Toad. It's not a hard game. And you have to use these little things as, like, shelter. Just to, to wait and get your timing back. So, let's grab this. I wanna grab the other one. See, like, look at this timing, though. I don't know how I did that the first time. It was so crazy cool. But this one, this timing is a little different. We're not gonna touch a bitty bug. Bitty bud. And this angle was a little weird for me, but I guess it's okay now. And these are all, like, probably, what? Oh, a one-up mushroom, what do you know? They knew I, I died once or twice. So, this timing? How in the world am I gonna go through here? Just, like, invincibility boost through it? Like, you gotta be out of your mind. Alright, well, we're just gonna... Oh, <laughs> we're just gonna damage boost through it. Where's the last diamond, by the way? Wait, where's the last diamond, by the way? No! I was supposed to use these turnips to throw it at the stupid diamond. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> what a fun level. Here we go. Let's try again. Now that we got the data from the level, we can beat it. Here we go, bitty buds. Don't call me a bitty bug. Your favorite cart in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the bitty bud. Right? Is that, like, arguably the best cart in the game? Best acceleration stat? Acceleration is king when you're fending off blue shells from front running all day. Alright, here we go. One. Watch, watch this timing. Oh yeah, two. Come on, bitty buds. Okay, now use the turnips. You have three shots at this. There we go. All right, so you could use the other turnips to go through here. I'm actually wondering if you could do this without getting hit. I'm very curious for it. Uh, I'm gonna try. Ready for adventure? Yeah! Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so ready for adventure. Check this out. Oh man, Ch check out the perfect run. Yeah, it's awesome. I know, I know, I know. I know. Yo, man, we are ready for adventure. I'm telling you guys, that was an awesome run. After we kind of knew what we needed to do, it wasn't blind anymore. Didn't defeat any para bitty buds. All right, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> Tuggers, how did I get that timing? It's called aptitude, my friend. Find Pixel Toad. All right, first one to find him wins. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Uh,
Keep your eyes peeled. He can be anywhere, this Captain Little Baby Pixel Todd. Are you kidding me? I hear you! <laughs> so that's a thing too. If you have headphones on, you can, if you're near him, you can hear his little sound. That's actually kind of cute. I didn't realize that. That was kind of cool. All right, here we go. Bizarre door is a boo mansion. Whoa, boo mansion. Let's go, you guys ready? Don't get scared. Ready for adventure, Ready for adventure man. Oh my, all right. So in this level, we need to clear the course with only four touches. I'm not gonna do that now. We're gonna find everything, so we have to do this level twice. Baby Captain Todd is shivering because he's afraid of ghosts. But how does he know? And that's a Goombabwe. All right, so that's a Goombabwe coming at me. Yes, that, okay, yes. All right, here, you know, I'm gonna go stealth mode. I'm gonna turn my light off. What's this Goombabwe doing here? Oh my, oof! Wow, wow, I guess I gotta find something. Give me that diamond. Why am I getting bothered by this guy? Yeah, now what? Oh gosh! I could just spin around in a circle, come here, come here. Now what, boy? Get smushed! Oh, dude, yeah right! He's gonna own me, he, th dude. Can I please stop? Can I please stop? Can I please stop? I'm getting owned by a Goomba, he's such a bully. Ah! Dude, oh, whoa, okay, I, I did not expect that. Well, let's take a look. This one, we'll move over that way, and one of these doors will teleport me, okay, will teleport me to said. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the coin there, buddy. Oh, booze! Hold on, I gotta shine my light on him, that's right. And then turn him into coins. Yeah, booze don't like light. So make sure you press the Y button to turn on your light uh, and go from there, so here we go. That was bad. Uh, that was really bad. Hold on, let's go back. I gotta do that right. Oh no. What? I gotta go, I gotta go all the way back in order to try that one more time? You're kidding. Come on. Alright, whatever. Where am I? How am I, how am I gonna go there? Wait, 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 wait. Never mind, never mind. I can do it one more time. Watch, 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 watch. Okay, let's try again. Come on, Goombabways, let's get him. Hey! Get over here. Right here, dudes. Oh, come on, Toad, don't be afraid. How am I gonna get these guys to come a little closer now? You guys coming or what? Oh, I got an idea. Here, watch, watch, watch. Come on me. Boing, 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 boing. Doink. All right, get him. Yes. All right. So that was great. <laughs> I wasn't about to RNG wait there all day. So yeah, there's that. Okay. So ready for adventure? It can't be this easy. Oh my goodness. Uh, yes. I want to get a twofer. Get him in the corner. There we go, there we go. And poof, poof, you're done. I wonder what these other doors do. Or should I just leave? I think we're gonna leave. <laughs> Power Star's right there, what the heck, come on. I don't wanna torture Captain Toad anymore. He's afraid, he's a little guy. Clear the course in four touches, let's give that a shot. And then we're gonna go find, ooh, oh, look at that, another opportunity. Here's a quick tip. You can touch the book pages uh, one by one. You can also touch the edge of a specific page to flip directly to it. What about TV mode? <laughs> what about TV mode? How do you do that? <laughs> Who plays in handheld mode? Um, Abdallah, I play in handheld mode? Yeah, I know. 
That's one, two. Four touches? You're kidding me. Three. That's all my touches. Oh no, I'm fine. That's four touches. Okay, I don't need to I don't need to worry about this one. Yeah, we're set. I'm done. I can just damage boost through this and get it, but I'll just beat these guys up. Okay. I forgot that one block up top had like two doors that you can go through, so super easy. Course clear. All right, let's go find a baby boy. Ta-da! Poof. Easy, easy. All right, so here we go. Let's go find our little pixel toad. First one to find him wins. Did you find, oh, oh, we tripped. Sorry, little guy. Meow. Meow, meow. All right, let's take a let's take a gander first. Hide better, Todd. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I'm like looking around, I'm like, oh, there he is. He's inside the window, easy breezy. All right, here we go, Blizzard on the Star Express. Let's do it. Only two more levels and then we're done with this episode one, part two. Yes, we are, Blizzard on the Star Express. Okay, so this is, wow. It, it simulates that Everything is moving. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe we are actually on a train. All right, cool. And we gotta go inside the train too, so this is gonna be very exciting. All right, so in this level, I gotta collect a one-up mushroom, and I, ooh, what? Hey, that's great. Anything else like that? No. So there's a one-up mushroom somewhere. I'm, I have no idea where it is, but we have to do our best to find it. Watch out for these bitty buds. And I have one of these turnips. I don't think I want to waste it on a bitty bud. I'd rather throw it at a shy guy who's gonna directly come after me. So, yeah, there's that. I can come over here and grab the second one. And I mean, ideally I could spin around and knock one of these bitty buds out. I could. But at the same time, we're really not gonna waste our time with that. I'm gonna grab this turnip in case I need it against a shy man. Rear, rear. Oh, I just tossed it. Okay, that that's great. Okay, we need to find out where our next diamond is, and we need to find out where. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. We. Oh, okay, that was on a different plane altogether. All right, so there's Blood. Blood is probably where we're gonna get the the thing. The one-up mushroom has to be from Blode. Blode is really good at hooking those up. Dang it, Blode! Don't be so cheap, dude. Oh, cool! <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. I was not expecting uh, that. I saw this thing, I'm like, all right, cool, let's hit it. Because Toad can't jump, right? All right, so we found the one-up mushroom. We just need to find the rest of the diamonds, then we win. So let's jump inside here, and I think the diamond is going to be right over there. That's what I'm thinking. Wait, what? How in the world? Hold on, how in the world do I get over there? That's like a hidden passage. It's like the bathroom. Oh, here you go. What? Just ten coins. Forget that. Uh... Okay, yeah, I guess that's one way of getting inside there. But why do I want to? Oh, because this room has the thing. Okay, got you, got you. All right, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Captain Todd. Watch this. Hello! Smush. And then now, look at these beds, too. Like, I go bounce in the bed a little bit here, collect some coins. 
And then of course, uh, if we wanted to move and then move out of the room, that's exactly what we would do there. Okay, great. So we are two thirds of the way done. We have to play a little bit of a push block puzzle. I'm an expert at those since I played Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. <laughs> Definitely not an expert. You're gonna have to at least hit these all once, right? Is that the, the gimmick? I don't want to get smushed either. Like, can Toad, can Todd get smushed? Oh my gosh, these are annoying. Oh, anyway, here we go. There's a diamond. I saw, I see some shining going on through here. So my question is, how do I get up there to get those? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna make a little path. Get that smoke out of here. How do I zoom in? All right. What's a drop? Okay, so that's not a drop. Good. That's a mushroom. Come on. What in the world? How am I going to break that? All right, well, maybe there's going to be a hammer in the next room or something. What are we doing? Can I break this with my backpack? No, backpack's not a hitbox like that. All right. There we go. I'm sorry, bitty buds. I'm here for the diamond and the diamond only. Yes. Awesome. That was really good. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, one run and done. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. We're done. Do 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 do. Hey. All right. Pretty cool. For the semi finale level. Check this out. We're right at the hour mark, too. Awesome. Uh-oh. Do you guys remember his name? So, Captain Toad grabbed the Power Star, but then Wingo came on board and grabbed Captain Toad. Dang. But, uh, Captain Toad has mysterious teleportation powers, and he can go to any level that he wants to. Wingo, Wingo, Wingo. All you guys remember that. Good job. Wingo. Patrick, we got it, Blue Boy, Jaden, Jordan, uh, Chris, Peter, excellent. All right, so now we're gonna find a baby toad. Uh, ooh, if I was hiding a baby toad, I'd put him on like the very back, like on the outskirts of the level. All right, well, let's look around. Yeah, I would totally hide him on the outskirts, um, ooh, like maybe along the edge. Maybe like underneath, I would totally troll the players by like putting him somewhere, somewhere over there. So let's keep an eye out on the left and to the right. Oh, help me. Okay, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Don't touch me. Oh gosh, this is not good. All right. I could have grabbed the turn up to speed up this process, but that's okay. I mean, we're not in any rush. We just got to find our, our little lost child. Our little 8-bit pixel boy. Pixel boy, pixel boy, pixel boy. Anywhere here. It seems like I would, I would, I would totally hide him on the inside of this thing. I would put him like right there. Where are you hiding, little guy? Get out of here! Can't you see I'm trying to find Todd? Oh, you hear him, right? Whoa, hey, there you are! <laughs> I heard him! Meemer, meemer. Best sound effect in the game. Pixel Toad. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Operation Rescue Toadette. This is going to be the final level in episode one. So, thank you again for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thanks for being here. And of course, thanks for smashing that like button. You guys are too good. Uh, we're going to be playing this game all day, so make sure that you guys come on board. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to jump right into the next one. Hit my um, subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Let's get this going. Wingo's Watchtower, the final level of episode one. It's going to be a boss battle. It'll be a fun one. And there's Toadette. Sorry, Toadette. Okay, so we're going to fight Wingo. It's going to be our uh, second boss battle, right?
Okay, well, here's Wingo. Honestly, don't remember what he does, but we gotta collect 70 coins somehow. So, any kind of coin that we see, we are going to absolutely need. That is a lot of coins. Great. And he blows wind. Okay. How dare you break wind before me. Oh, should I be throwing those at him? All right, here we go. Okay, that we didn't lose any money off of that one, thank goodness. Okay, that's- oh my, do not fall off, Toad. Okay, so here we go, I'm gonna have to throw one of these at him, I guess? He'll rotate around the area, so don't worry. What happens if you run out of these turnips to hit him with? Does it just stop him? I think we did a pretty good job of the first floor. We explored it all. Now this block is gonna move over. A little bit of wind puzzles here. 70 coins, guys. And, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to throw that at you. Oh, whoa, hey now. All right, so I fell off the wrong way. Not a big deal. We're gonna make our way around one more time and then we're gonna make it. So I, I was not trying to climb that at all. I just gotta make sure that I'm up here. So we try this again. All right, here we go. I like that he's kind of magical and he can kind of teleport. He reminds me of Kamek. You guys remember Magikoopa? All right, here we go. Press this. This. Okay. A little bit of that. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if we're honestly supposed to throw these at him, but it doesn't matter. I need to somehow find a way. Here, I'm just going to throw this here. I'll collect a coin from it. The game won't allow you to get stuck without turnips to battle this guy. Okay, 68 coins, which is great. Oh, come on! No! Oh my! Alright, well he pushed me through the window, that's fine. We got our 70 coins, all we really need to do now is just, um... Get our diamonds and then go fight him at the very top, I guess. Okay, so there's our diamonds. We need to get our third diamond simply by walking along this way. And then I guess allowing him to push this in a way that we can get this next one. Okay, so maybe one more rotation after this. He'll push it towards that way and then we'll climb on top of it. Collect those four coins over there. We're going to get all of our coins for the bonus objective. Oh my. Beautiful. All right, give me a push, big guy. Yeah. All right, I'll stay on here so I don't get pushed off. All right, here we go. Now we're going to come over this way. And we got all of our diamonds. Beautiful. Now, the way out is through that window, that top window over that way. So I am going to climb down on this. We're going to slide over. Oh, beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Here we go. So now we're going to jump in top here. And we're going to Captain Toad our way out. Okay, I just don't want to get blown over. Toadette, keep hanging on. Toadette's got some really good arm strength, like upper arm strength. If she's holding on to that thing. All right, here we go, boss battle time. What are we doing? Okay, okay. Captain Toad is strong if he's picking up these things. Captain Toad's like an ant. He's picking up like 20 times. Uh... Oh no. Dang. Dang. 
Oh, wow, what a fast teleporting guy. Oof, and he got me too, dang, that's lame. Hey, thanks. <laughs> that was nice of you. Where did Toadette get that from, though? All the money and gold bars. Okay, so imagine you're on the bottom of this tower. Dude, I gotta be moving, man. I'm gonna probably lose. Okay, so he does his wind gusts, and then he drops them. I just gotta keep moving. If you keep moving, then you're not gonna get hit by any stupid things. That's it, right in the mouth. That's pretty cool. I like that boss fight. <laughs> Look at all that gold. Oh, what is that toad at? Ah <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I'm gonna pull you out, huh? That's what I'm doing. But it stinks that you have to see me in mini form. That's not fun. Now I don't look like a boss. I just look like a little old road. Oh, that's cool. See, we get to do a little bit of dancing around. I'm gonna dance right next to you, even though I'm half your size. Come on, now. Come on, dude. I gotta beat this one again. What do you guys say? Should we try to beat the boss without taking any damage? Would you guys like a little bit of an extended live stream? Or do you guys want to end it right here? It's up to you guys. Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you guys want me to try again. I think that'd be pretty fun. It's like Captain Toad challenge mode. Beating the boss without taking any damage. So episode one is done. We did all 18 levels. Uh, we have to go back into this level and then beat it by getting the, uh, the 8 bit toad. And then we could go one more time if you guys want. It's up to you guys. Yeah, I see uh, Jana, Colleen, Diana, Fluffy. Uh, all you guys want some thumbs up. Okay, we can do it. We can try a little bit of a challenge mode. I don't mind. But anyway, here we go. Episode 1, end credits. Like, what if you thought like this was the end of the game? You're like, wow, really? I paid 40 bucks for 18 levels? Okay. All right, we'll do it again, since you guys are so awesome. You guys are a great crowd, by the way. Thank you again. Okay, Chara, hello. So, yeah, I'm really wondering, like, what's the deal with porting this game over? Was there, like, a lot of work that needed to be done with that? Was that kind of an easy thing? I'm very curious. Had a lot of people working on it. Fireworks. You guys can see the Shy Guy fireworks and the Turn Up firework and the Star firework. Maybe a mushroom firework somewhere? Hey, there we go. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. <laughs> Alright, cool. I still remember the fireworks. There's a diamond firework, too. And a double cherry firework. Wow. I still remember the fireworks in Super Mario RPG. That was the best. And I remember the fireworks in Super Mario Odyssey. When you collect all the... <laughs> 999... Moons. Yep. So what happened? Why did the end look like that? What do you guys think? So we collected the seven coins. That was awesome. And uh, yeah, so Captain Toad. We're going to go find our little baby boy. Episode two is now open. Okay, okay. Luckily for you guys, we have episode two already up on the YouTube channel. So go check it out. Episode one. Oh, we're not done. You think we're done, but we gotta go find our baby boy. So let's go, let's go find baby boy and then we'll jump in for another challenge and see if we can beat the boss without taking any damage. I think it'll be fun. All right. Okay, so let's find Pixel Toad. Let's move around. 
Fun Pixel Toad and tap them when you do. Oh, come on. What a mean bird you are. I would totally... I guess I gotta listen out for him. What the? That was pretty decent. <laughs> I'm like, alright, so he could either be underneath one of those moving blocks. So I was just kind of waiting there and I'm like, alright, did they put him under there? No. And then he was just there. Boom. Got him. Okay, <clears throat> so Wingo's Watchtower, we're going to beat it uh, again. And this time around, we're going to try to beat him without taking any damage. Wingo's actually kind of cool. I like Wingo's design. I love that he's got some sort of magical powers. He's like a wizard. He's got like a crazy headdress with a feather. Is that the feather straight from Super Mario World on Super Nintendo? Is that the same like coloration and uh, red and white? Dang, what if it was? What if I told you? What if I told you that that was the Super Feather from the Super Mario series, and that's what's giving Wingo his powers? Oh my. Uh, yeah, this is where I'm going. Okay, rematch. He's not touching me. This is easy. It's like our, our second boss battle if you count Drew Dragadon. A boss. Oh my, that's actually really tough, because it's predicting. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I knew you'd teleport. Boom, that's a number two. You know, I wonder if you could do it like really super quick. Hey, thanks! Now that's what I'm talking about, Toadette. <laughs> Alright, what are you blowing? Yeah, you can you can probably beat him in like one phase. Come on. It's the first boss, it's easy. So if you if you position yourself so that you're kind of centered, and you go up a little bit, and then he throws one in there. He can throw three of them, and then it's only three turnips to get him. You can beat him in one really, really speed run phase. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, Toadette, now we can actually dance around. I want to dance around with real Toad. None of this baby road nonsense. Let's actually do some dancing. You wanna dance? Alright, we dance in time. It's a dance party! Ready for adventure. See, now we celebrate. Ten minutes of Toad's dancing. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And look, I can kind of dig around the money, too. I think that's kind of cool, too. Like, if you hold the cursor down, the cursor actually moves money around. That's kind of cute. It just doesn't feel the same with an empty star, you know? <laughs> Alright, we don't need to see the cred credits. We already saw that. Alright, so beautiful, beautiful. The end. Crooked. 
So ladies and gentlemen, that was our live stream. Thanks for coming. We had a great time. We beat the boss without taking any damage. We went through every single one of these levels and the nine, the last nine levels of episode one in order to get all 100%. And if you guys are playing along with, then you know exactly what to do. The game's not that hard of a game, but of course, sometimes they'll throw you for a loop with uh, collecting things that are super hidden or uh, give you a real, a real challenge of some things. So anyway. Pyro Puff Peak was really cool. Uh, yeah, we had a fun time, so that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go prepare myself for uh, episode two. We called it book two, remember, in the Japanese version? I want you to do this. Go on YouTube, type in uh, Captain Toad Abdallah, and then go watch my old videos and just kinda see how far we've come in, like, how many years? Like, three years? Oh, it's been fun. I like keeping all my old stuff over there. It reminds me of uh, a simpler time. So anyway, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker episode one is uh, is a hundred percent done. Oh, check that out! I didn't realize. So we got three Captain Toad stamps. We've got the the leaf, the, or the sorry, the feather, and then we got a, a a little toad icon. I don't know if that's everything. I don't know if we're supposed to have five Captain Toad things. There's room for two more. There's also room for some other stuff. I don't know, but for from what I know, we've one hundred percented it for now. Okay, so that means that episode two is going to happen before you know it. Thanks again to each and every one of you guys who have came here. Raise your hand in the comments if you guys have been here the entire time. All one hour and 16 minutes. Let me know. Let's do it. But yeah, it's, uh, oh, there's a golden level that we should do. Uh, do I care about a golden level? Uh, maybe we'll do it at the beginning of next one. Yeah, there's one all the way over here, so maybe that's something. Is it something that we haven't done before? It's just coins galore. I'll start... You know what, here, come on. Fine. I won't end off the episode. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> alright, alright. Here we go. We're gonna go pick. No, we're not gonna go pick. I'm gonna go cherry. Because we did pick earlier. Holy moly! Pick them up, guys! You guys are very uncoordinated today. You guys are stumbling over each other. Still three lives. Alright, and just making sure there's no other pages at the very end. Let's flip all the way to the end, and there is no other pages. That is it. We no! No, Toad! Alright! <laughs> I don't like seeing sad Toadette. It makes me sad. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna call it. Now that we don't ever have to touch book one again. We're done with that. Okay, moving on. Thanks for watching. Uh, of course, join us all day today where we are going to go through and play the rest of the game. What's going to happen in episode two? I don't know. Gotta watch to find out. Turn on your notifications so you know that we're streaming. Of course, we are doing a giveaway, so make sure that you guys let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the episode was. And of course, hit that like button, share the video with a friend. More information on that a little bit later. But yeah, we're set, dude. We are set. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, don't forget to pick up the game and play along with. It's going to be a fun time.